Today we're going to learn how to convert mixed customary units. There are two ways to do this. We can either go from big units to small units or small units to big units. Let's look at some examples. Here's one problem. This question is asking us to convert from quarts to gallons. Quarts are smaller than gallons. So what that means is once we find the conversion factor, which is one gallon is equal to four quarts. Anytime you're going from small units to big units, you divide. So that means that we take 43 and divide it by four. The quotient that we get will be the number of gallons and the remainder should be this three quarts that's left over. Let's see what happens. Four goes into four one time, bring down a four, subtract, get zero, bring down the three, four goes into three zero times. So then our remainder is three. So this shows that 43 quarts is 10 gallons and three quarts. Here again, we're going from inches to feet. Since, since inches are smaller than feet, we're going to divide. Remember, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we take 77 inches and divide by 12. Now, we can't just divide this in because 12 doesn't fit into 7. But if we remember our multiples of 12, 12 times 5 is 60. That's too small. 12 times 6 is 72. That's pretty close. So we can say it goes in 6 times, 72, and we subtract and get a remainder of 5. So just like before, the quotient 6 is the number of feet. The remainder is the number of inches that are left over. 6 feet, 5 inches. Here's another example. Again, we're going from big, we're going from a small unit to a big unit, which means that we divide. So, remembering that one foot, again, is 12 inches, we're going to divide 12 into 91. Again, we need to remember our multiples of 12. Before we said, 12 times 6 was 72. So that means that 12 times 7 would be 84. That's pretty close. So 12 times 7, 84. And then we subtract, leaving us with a remainder of 7 inches. So this will be 7 feet and 7 inches. We're going to do the same thing, but now we have different units. One pint is equal to two cups. So since we're going from cups to pints, we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. That means that we have to divide. So we're going to have eight divided by two, the conversion factor, and we get four pints. Notice there is no remainder. Two goes into eight evenly. So there won't be a remainder, which is why it's zero cups left over. So it's just four pints. Here's another question going from cups to pints. Again, cups are smaller than pints, which means we're going to divide. So we do 17 and we divide by two. Two goes into 17 eight times. 16, then we subtract, we have a remainder of 1. So 17 cups is the same as 8 pints, the quotient, and then the remainder, 1 cup. That's how we find the part that doesn't fit a whole number of larger units. Here again. Now we're going from pints to quarts. One quart is equal to two pints. 
So since we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we divide again. 4 divided by 2 goes in evenly, just gives us 2. There is no remainder, so we get 2 quarts and 0 pints. There aren't any extra pints left over after the 2 quarts. Here's another question. Again, we're going from pints to quarts. So our conversion factor is going to be two again, because one quart is equal to two pints. And because we're going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, we're gonna divide. So we have 14 divided by two. We get seven with no remainder. Again, two goes into 14 evenly. So this remainder here will be zero pints. Okay, now there's a change happening here. We're going from yards to feet. We are now going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So now instead of dividing by the conversion factor, we're going to multiply by it. In this case, one yard is the same as three feet. So we're going to multiply five yards times three feet is 15 feet. So that's this part, 15 feet, and then one additional foot because there's one, one extra foot. So that gives us a total of 16 feet. Okay. Now we're going from small back to big again. Here the relevant conversion number is one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we divide 18 divided by 16. That's going to be one, but with a remainder of two, because one times 16 is just 16. So there's two left over to get to 18. So the one and then two additional ounces for our remainder. One pound, two ounces. And finally, we're doing the same thing. We're going from ounces to pounds. Again, our conversion factor, one pound, 16 ounces. So we divide again, 47 divided by 16. Here it's helpful to remember the multiples of 16. So 16 times one is 16, 16 times two is 32, 16 times three is 16 more than 32 or 48. Well, that's too big. So it goes in two times, 32, and then we subtract, giving us a remainder of 15, which is a big remainder, but because it's less than 16, it's perfectly fine. So that tells us that there's 15 ounces left over after the quotient of two pounds.